Nami Tamaki, Believe, the first take. I do know this song, because it is the opening of Gundam uh, Gundam Seed, Mobile Suit Gundam Seed, uh, whichever one it's called. And and I, I've been messing with Gundam this last year specifically. It's like one that was always on my bucket list of really, really getting into, and I've been. So, awesome. It's good. And uh, yeah, L let's uh, let's cook. Yeah, it's an old ass song, but it's a banger. Damn, bro, it is 16 degrees. No wonder I'm fucking freezing. And I got my heater on. And I ain't doing shit. Man, they're all hyped. And so am I. But fuck, I am cold. It's just the immaculate old school vibes of this song. Like, I want to hop in a fucking Gundam and risk my life now. You know, fucking ah! <laughs> like, okay, hold on, hold on. My shit didn't want to pause. I ruined the best part, the start. But like, younger me with my first real gun, uh, not Gundam, my first real mecha being. Sadly, well, not sadly, because it's still my favorite anime, but it's not really as mecha as mechas are, you know? And I know a lot of mecha fans don't like, you know, uh, seeing it as a mecha, because Ava, you know, is a little different. And honestly, the focus isn't mainly the Avas, it's the humans and whatnot. I still see it as a mecha, obviously, it's just very different. And, um... I, I guess the thing is, when I was younger, I was like, man, I would never want to, I would never want to pilot a mech. That shit would be ass. Look at Shinji, man. He is sad. But then after getting into Gundam, I'm like, woo. I mean, it's, they still have heartbreaking moments in Gundam. Don't get me wrong, but man, uh, they, they, they make them shit seem a whole lot cooler. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Although the Avas were pretty cool in the uh, rebuilds. They, they went like pretty in for them. <laughs> Don't want to talk over the song. I was gonna say the Evas. You know, this is so awesome. Literally seeing the One Piece one the other day, and now this. Just the nostalgic openings. Getting, I mean, it's not really nostalgic for me because it's not like I've been watching Gundam since the fucking uh, 80s or whatever, but it's still a nostalgic song for many, and it sounds nostalgic for me. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, oh, soul, passion. Yeah. Yeah! Ah! Bro, she's hearing this shit! Say that shit again! <laughs> oh, okay, my man on the keyboard is doing his job. My man on the drum is doing his job. My man on the guitar is doing his job. We're all doing our, our the different string instruments, uh, electric guitar and the other one. I don't fucking know. They're all doing the job. Ah! They're going off, bro. I love her earrings, even though they- I, I don't- I don't understand them. 
But her color scheme and her drip is fire. It even matches the headphones. <clears throat> I fucking love this song, man. What a banger. Hit that shit, girl! Do the Becky! <laughs> Do a backflip! It's like... <laughs> okay, when did this song actually come out? I need, I should, I, I need to check. Um, let's see. Fuck, not Reborn, that's the new one. Come on, dude. Look and believe. 2003, holy shit, I was really off the mark for some reason. Okay, then when did mobile... <laughs> Hold on, when did... When did Seed come out then? I'm thinking of a different one, probably. Oh, no. So Seed came out... Well, probably the same year then, huh? 2002. Damn. Okay, well, 2002 is still 20 fuck. It was a year before I was born. That's old enough for me to call it old, bitch. It's older than me. Don't get mad at me for that. <laughs> it's old. Um, I love the the old standard for like the futuristic sounding sounds and songs. Like spe specifically, you know the dun 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 dun. And I, I don't mean to say that's what they use it for, but a lot of the times I feel like it's used in series like that do have futuristic aspect aspects like a Gundam because clearly that's not something that we can achieve now and we always get these like sci-fi ass backtracks Are y'all gonna get mad if I told you that I got into Gundam through the new one, uh, Witch Mercury? I don't- I actually still don't know the full title of that, I always forget it. But I really like that one, and I was like, shit, let's get into the rest of it. The Witch from Mercury. For some reason I thought it was called something else, whatever. I always just call it, like, Gundam Mercury. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, that- that one was fucking fire. I, but I knew going into it- from what people said, it was pretty different from other Gundams. So I kind of took it for that series alone. And then I started from the old ones. So, like, I still appreciate the old ones. Not like, oh, why isn't this like this, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I'm, like, I, I, I don't know how people would feel about people getting into it through that. I would hope people don't give a fuck. But I really fucking liked it. Um, and I didn't mean to get through Gundam through that originally. Like, I always th thought I was just going to watch it normally. But when it was airing, I said, fuck it. Why not watch it? Apparently, it's not super connected to anything. I should be fine. And I, it, 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 I, I was fine. And it was good. So, you know, I don't think it's a big deal. But if someone wants to make a big deal, then it's a big deal, I guess. Yeah, like the whole twist with Ariel and, um, and, 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 and fucking, um, I'm not fucking forgetting her name. Uh, Suleta. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh, first take of that first opening would be fire. And then the second ending, I feel like, would be hella fire for uh, Witch, Witch for Mercury. Oh my god, I just interrupted the ending. Let's rewind that. Y'all gonna get a bitch. I just love how she hits it. Da -da -da. You know? I put my finger on it. She is elegant as fuck. Like, powerful, mature, elegant, beautiful, wonderful, amazing. No, thank you. 
It was nerve-wracking just watching you because at any moment, I thought my world might end. As for my eyes, don't believe or, or don't deserve to uh, witness any more viewings in my lifetime. Uh, and maybe God felt that I had seen enough wonderfulness for one lifetime. And maybe even two. So maybe even my next life would be as a blind man. Just because I'd seen so much wonderfulness. <laughs> just for actual beauty at one time. I'm just yapping. Uh, I mean, I'm not yapping. She's a beautiful woman. But damn, I'm not normally. <laughs> I, that's not how we actually talk, guys. I'm just yapping. Um, but also not. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did, that's awesome. Um, maybe you should like, subscribe, and shit, and subscribe, and shit, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna leave, because I got more videos to record, and it's already fucking 10, uh, so yeah, bye!